What is a composite? I would like to borrow the concept of material science tetrahedra, which illustrates how the material composition, micro and nanostructure, its synthesis processing parameter, and related properties, how those contribute to the material's final performance in the specific application scenario. The composite is a material composed of more than one phase. The component phase could be ceramic, metal, or polymer. So there could be ceramic polymer composites, or metal polymer composites, or ceramic metal composites. Nano composite is a special group of composite material that contain a phase, or two phase, or more than two phase, less than 100 nanometer in one, two, or three dimensions, and also provide unique property for specific applications. As biomaterials, we are mainly interested for biomedical applications. Now I would like to share a few examples of our work on nanocomposites for biomedical applications. The first example I would like to share is ceramic polymer nanocomposites that promoted oxoblast adhesion, long-term functions, and infiltration. When we dispersed the ceramic nanoparticles, for example, titanium oxide nanoparticles or hydroxyapatite nanoparticles into a polymer matrix, the nanocomposite materials promoted bone forming cell, that is also blast adhesion, long term functions, for example, mineral deposition in their surfaces, nanostructured surfaces, and also promoted also blast infiltration into the 3D structures when we created a 3D printed scaffold out of these nanocomposites. So research has so shown ceramic polymer nanocomposites could promote biological and mechanical properties of the material for bone regeneration application. And also could be used for drug delivery to promote also genetic differentiation of mesenchymal stem cells. Although ceramic polymer nanocomposites provide many attractive, promising properties for bone regeneration. But their mechanical strength is still not adequate enough for many load-bearing applications. Therefore, we applied this nanocomposite material as a coating on biodegradable magnesium alloys. Magnesium alloys could provide strength similar to cortical bone, but their degradation rate, degradation rate is faster than many uh, medical applications. So therefore, when we apply the nanocomposite coatings on biodegradable magnesium alloys, we could not only promote bone cell adhesion long-term functions to promote bone healing, but also reduce, degra reduce degradation rate of magnesium alloys to meet the requirement of the specific applications. Another example I would like to share is magnetic nanocomposite. Magnetic nanocomposites could provide attractive properties for tissue regeneration and remote guidance. So we created a model magnetic nanocomposites composed of magnetic nanoparticles and a biodegradable biocompatible hydrogel. So we call them magnetic gel. As the video on the left shows that we could guide this mag magnetic gel using a magnet. So the potential application of this group of magnetic nanocomposite is that they could be delivered to the targeted tissue defect site using remote magnetic guidance, provide support for tissue healing and regeneration, and eventually degrade after tissue has healed. What I have shared so far are only few drops of water in the ocean of literature. So I would like to welcome you to the World Biomaterial Congress 2016 in Montreal. We have organized a new frontier symposium called Nanobiomaterials and Nanotechnology for Implants, Device, and the Theranostics. Many researchers from all over the world will share exciting results about nanobiomaterials, including nanocomposites as biomaterials. We also have 
Professor Thomas Webster as our distinguished keynote speaker. Thank you for listening.